So probably just going to stop filming totally because I can't feel my hands. Uh, it's filmed on the phone. If I get a couple of shots, I will make a small video of it, but it's going to be a really short one because it is actually really wild here just now. Uh, but it's also gorgeous. And let's see what we get. Best laid plans. We decided last Sunday to head up to Fenwick. Fenwick's about half an hour away from us and there was lovely trees up there across the motorway that we wanted to get to just to get some minimalistic shots in the snow. We checked the weather, we checked the road conditions, everything was fine because the previous few days had been uh, quite snowy and it caused a wee bit of disruption in driving conditions. But for us to go up at this time early in the morning it was just to be for what we thought the optimal conditions. Nice grey skies, nice white snow, nice contrasted trees beside it. We packed everything we needed. The cameras, the 200mm, the GoPro, polarizers, cleaners, cloths, cloths to wipe down, everything. We took everything with us so as that we could get the shots we were after. When we got there, we couldn't access where we needed so we then drove down the road a bit towards the turbines because we thought the turbines with the snow coming through them just looked lovely, looked gorgeous. Did that work? No. We got to the turbines and the snow was just starting. It wasn't that heavy, uh, it was just quite nice and we thought oh, this would give some nice shots as well, maybe a wee bit of movement in the image. We walked first 10, 15 minutes and the snow get heavier. Walked another five minutes and it was blizzard condition. <laughs> Good to be out in it. Whether we got photos or not, uh, it didn't matter. It was really, really nice to be out in this weather. You'll see some of it in the video. It's points I thought, right, okay, I'm just going to do some B-roll here because I could probably use it in the future just for something. But did we get anything? No, not a thing. As I say, it was gorgeous to be out in. Set the camera up for a couple of shots. The snow and the wind was just making it very very difficult to get. Put the lens cap on, take the lens cap off, focus the shot, put the lens, wipe the lens, put the lens cap back on, wait till the wind died ever so slightly, take it off and try and get a shot. Did it work? I got one. We were up there for in total about an hour and a bit. Couldn't shoot with the cameras, couldn't shoot with anything. And eventually, everything was packed away. As you'll see by the video, everything was packed away. And all the photos you're going to see are shot on the phone. I use the, the Samsung S7 Edge. And I just I love the images it produces. You'll see them here and you'll go, oh, they're terrible. But they suit me and they suit the type of style that I shoot in. Have a look at the video. Have a laugh at the video because there's nothing in it. There's no content, story or anything. We walked up. We get hit with the conditions. I said a few things to the camera. The sound is terrible. I turned the camera off. We drove back down the road. But I will say, I absolutely love being out in it. And I've been in wilder conditions as well. We were in wilder conditions in Norway. But it was absolutely gorgeous. So I got one shot in the camera. And it was actually when we were heading back. We were driving back down the road. Uh, we went past this tree that Sharon had spotted in the way up that she wanted a, a photograph of. And by the time we get back to it, the snow has stopped. The roads were, we were driving slow anyway because the roads were getting worse, but the snow had stopped and the wind had dropped a wee bit. So I've got one shot of this tree and it's a singular tree with a grey sky and the white foreground. And that's the only one that was taken 
with the camera. Everything else, the five or six shots, they're shot in the phone. Have a laugh, see what the weather was like, I hope you enjoyed it if you were out in it. It's been four weeks since you called And I've been waiting here for you all along I've been waiting here for you all along If you can actually hear me, uh, we're up at the wind turbines, up in Fennec. Uh, it's beginning to get a wee bit wild, but it's also really, really good. We're just running around here. See, the fire just here, waiting on me. There's Charlotte in the distance. It's getting wild up here. It's actually quite fun though. Uh, if I can get here quick enough, I apologise about the sound. Right, I'm going to be totally honest and say here I don't think any of these shots will work, but you never know. I, I'm just going to give you a wee look round just to see how everything's going, but this is what we're in just now. If you can even hear at all. Okay, it was at this point we came up. <laughs> Too cold. Uh, everything to film, but nothing to actually photograph. Uh, I love this. I'm going to do a quick sweep round the camera so as you can see this is absolutely gorgeous. We're just in a winter, winter land with us. Uh, one more stop before we actually head home. Stop there. Take a couple of shots and then get home. Most of these shots today are going to be more well for shots. I just needed to climb over everything to get to this. Hopefully, this is going to work out without me falling in. So the next shot you should see will be a mobile phone. It's back to the car. Uh, there was no snow when we first went. Well, there's a wee bit of snow when we first went. But now, there's even more, it's brilliant. All I'm going to say is, thanks for watching.